need to get pregnant this month what can you do you want to get pregnant this month you are asking yourself what are you supposed to do would you like to get pregnant are you asking yourself what are the tips you need to do to get pregnant this month then this video is for you mu video ya feno lero tugenda kuogera ku nsonga chi oba bichi byosobola okukola okulabanga ofuna mangu olubuto mu mwezi guno gwenyini era tuba tugenda kuogera ku bino byona byona mu video We are going to discuss how you can get pregnant this month. Have you been asking yourself the question, how can you get pregnant faster this month? Then this video is for you. I welcome you to our channel. If it's your first time on our channel, Jared Massa, the health educator, I'm really so happy that you made it here. If you have been looking at how you can get pregnant more specifically, naturally, then this video is for you. This channel is for you. Remember to subscribe so that you do not miss new videos we release every day. To those topic we are talking about we are answering the question how can you get pregnant this month what are you supposed to do to get pregnant faster we shall begin with the key aspects for you to get pregnant we've talked about them in our previous videos but we shall reiterate again we shall talk about these steps again the first thing you need to know is that for you to get pregnant faster you actually have to have your ovaries which are functioning very well in simple terms your ovaries should be functioning very well your eggs should be functioning very well we shall talk more about this later and then the other thing is that your fallopian tubes should be viable your fallopian tubes should be open if your fallopian tubes are not open or if your fallopian tubes are blocked with adhesions or scar tissue then getting pregnant may be difficult and then your womb your uterus should be free from disease and lastly the quality and the quantity of the sperms from your partner from your husband should be really good they should be at least at a hundred percent we are answering the question what can you do to get pregnant this month you need to get pregnant this month what are you supposed to do to gambia nti to gede mu video za fezenja ulo ku chano ya feno era to gambia nti obango badde oyagala okubango funa mango olubuto byolino okola bilibina ekisoka amajigo gaino kubanga gabera gakola bulunji ne kirala enseke zino kubanga tezazi ba enseke zo zino kubanga zili open then ekirala oyino kubanga toli na che bayita disease of the womb oba nabana yo elino kubanga teri mu buzibu teri mu bizimba teri mu mazi machafu then to gambia nti bao aino kubanga alina enkwaso ezimala atenga zisobola kubanga ziwakisa eji nilibanga lisobola kufuka omwana what can you do to get pregnant this month mu video ya feno we are answering all this this video is in english and in luganda so we are catering for our english english speaking audience and <coughs> also we are looking at our luganda speaking audience and without further ado we are proceeding with the tips you need to do to get pregnant faster this month when you have tried all the methods you have taken all the pills and actually you have been told that you have issues with your fertility you have what we call unexplained infertility then this video is for you the key things you need to take from this video are that you can actually get pregnant but you need to master your body you need to know that what you eat can affect your fertility what you actually eat should be really very very important because 
if you are looking at getting pregnant and your diet is full of actually foods which are high in processed chemicals which are high in estrogen we call them the xenoestrogens then there are high chances that you could have issues with fertility the main reason is that you will be adding more estrogen from actually artificial substances like family planning pills or even uh, processed foods well and also like maybe milk actually milk contains lots of estrogen from the cow so if you are looking at getting pregnant we do not say that you should not take milk but you should opt for only pasteurized milk and animal products and then the other thing is that the food you eat should be organic you avoid highly processed foods or avoid processed foods go for organic foods organic foods are those foods which are actually which, which are i'm um, sorry about this organic foods are those types of foods you, which are got straight from the um, straight from the garden and then up to the market for example you get the sweet potatoes from the garden and then up to the market and then you actually go to the market or to the grocery and you buy these types of foods the organic foods are really good for you if you are looking at getting pregnant and then your diet should be actually more of green leafy vegetables drink lots of water the key behind is that when you drink lots of water then actually digestion is going to be taking place much more faster Remember when you have been taking these actually uh, processed foods then when you drink lots of water there are high chances that you will flush out whatever uh, toxins have been accumulating in your digestive system or your gut tugambye nti woba ogeza ko kubanga ofuna olubuto we know making a sure and at least we wala okulia ebintu ebiri processed ebintu nga kwegamba emere jeba jeba tunda mo mo gondi mo ma supermarkets na yenga ate eba eri processed nga emere katugeze emere yo mukebe oba ebintu bye bamazo kutegeka ebintu bye bamazo kutegeka ndeni ne babanga bamazo bisika and then ne babanga babikuwa nga babadde babitereka mu supermarket okumala kabanga ebintu ebibera mu chemicals nyingi bibera mu chemicals nga ze tuita zino estrogens ebiso lokuleta ate obuzivu okubanga bisobola kuleta chebaita hormonal imbalances then it ugambye ntigeza ko okulabanga we wala ebintu ebisike enyu and then geza ko kulabanga at least onywa nyo amazi manji nyo onywa amazi manji oja ko bosobola kukola chebaita washing your gut or washing your uh, digestive system oja ko bosobola kubanga ofuvisa nyo ate no bango furumya nyo ebintu then oyino ku making sure anti bulilo ulirango yagala kugenda kulonko oyino kubanga ogenda Bulilobanga togenze okola lonko atete chipa chirunji we've been talking about the key tips you need to do if you are looking at getting pregnant faster we've given these tips we've said eat more of organic foods drink lots of water avoid highly processed foods and then also do some small workouts do not over exercise if you are looking at getting pregnant and then manage stress how do you manage stress you can manage stress by avoiding the stressor altering the stressor and then adjusting to the stressor there are types of stress which are actually very very uh, which are really damaging for example stress which is coming from uh, specifically maybe uh, your loved ones what you need to do is you can adjust to the stressor and then you find way of living with people find a way of adjusting to people because no one is perfect so we've said that you can get pregnant faster naturally even without going through expensive uh, procedures in hospital the key things you need to do specifically you need to do what we've talked about remember our video is for education and information purposes only but if you would like to have a second opinion or if you would like to have a detailed consultation with me then you can connect with me on my website www.geradmasa.thehealtheducator.com that is www.geradmasa.thehealtheducator.com and then also after doing your booking we shall talk more on whatsapp and then i will give you my best recommendations and tips on how you can get pregnant faster i'm sending out my greetings to all you my friends on youtube my family members i really appreciate you and remember we are proceeding with the tips on how you can get pregnant faster 
we are saying that you need to watch what you eat. You need to work on your mind because when you have a positive mindset, then there are high chances that things will work out. And then lastly, but not least, you need to trust in God. You need to believe that things can work out well for you. You need to put in your trust in God and then you need to pray about it. We can tell you the information we were taught. We can tell you the information we read, but the most important thing is that you should put your trust in God. Things can work out for you. Remember to ask me all your questions down below in the comments and I will answer all your questions. Without uh, further ado, first of all, let me translate for my uh, Luganda audience. To Gambia and Osobolo kufuna olubuto amangu kastokola ebintu yeto gedeko. Era tugambi ento ino kubanga wete gereza ebintu vyolia. O ino kubango nyua amazi manji. We wale okulia ebintu vili processed. Oba emere jebate gikane bateka mumadu koba mosupermarkets ebange dene. Kuba ebera mu ebintu yeba itazino estrogens oba hormones. Esobola to kustebola oba okutawanya oba kutataganya hormones zo. Then to Gambia and Gezako enyo okorabanga at least onywa amazi manji nyo. To Gambia and Tohoya Garokubango Yogramu Konange, Osovoloku Bookinga, website yange, edi ww dot Gerard Massa, the health educator.com, era to Gambia and Ti, Osovoloku Nebu Zako, Neo Banga, Toze Kudua Lito J Korida, Osovoloku Nebu Zako, Nitubanga Tuaya Muko, or inzo kubanga kwegambo ina echi buzo, na tueta kside kute kamu transport kuno nya wendi wa mumarali de no, nayenga te tusobolo ko gera ku whatsapp obo ya gadde era tusobola ko organizing appointment no tubanga tusinga na kudwaliro okunebuza ko ku whatsapp nguba mutwalo gumugoka era osobola kubanga okusasula filu airtel money ku namba yange no yenyine eri kweno video uh, 70701797876 oguteka ko filu airtel money amanya agali ku ma, mobile money namba yange oba amanya agali registered ke gange genyini Gerard Massa so obo mazo ku depositinga yo mutwalo go then osobola connecting WhatsApp, njakuba nkuovu devona, njakuba nkubu ulira, bichibi osobolo kubango kola, na uchiba cheta agisanga, wetaga muko kubuja njabi, era njakuba nkudirectinga edu wale olefu wedidi, era tuberenga tuwe yongiro kubanga tukuteka kubuja njabi, kuwa banji bafunyemu, era banji bali kubanga bafunye mbuto. We are saying that it is very, very important for you to note that you can get pregnant faster, but you need to actually uh, follow what the experts tell you and then you need to put your trust in God. Let me answer all your questions down below the, in the comments of this video and then let me know if you would like to have me talk about some other key topics of your interest. I'll be very, very happy to connect with you. video ya we shall not end this video without talking there about the different tests, the different investigations you need to do if you are a couple and you have tried to get pregnant and maybe things have not worked out for you very well. You've tried for many years. You've tried for actually years and you are not getting pregnant. We are going to talk about the key tests you need to do and these include the pelvic ultrasound scan. Also, known as a, uh, it's actually a pelvic ultrasound scan. Your doctor will decide whether to do the transvaginal or to go through the transabdominal route. That is, it will be the, that will be the discretion of your doctor. And then next key test is you need to do what you call a fertility hormonal screen test, whereby your fertility hormones, that is the FSH, LH, progesterone, and also estrogen will be assessed. Also, your doctor may decide actually to look at your AMH levels or your anti-mullerian hormone levels because these are also very key in determining how your follicles are functioning, how your follicles are growing. And then lastly, your doctor may decide also to assess your partner, your husband. Your doctor may decide to actually do what we call a semen analysis test where the quality and the quantity of the sperms of your partner will be assessed because you may be put putting the blame on yourself and yet maybe the issue is with the guy. So your doctor will decide on what to do. Gerard Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. I welcome you for today's video. Thank you for watching today's video. Remember to come back tomorrow at exactly 17 hours. A new video will be out. I welcome you. Remember to subscribe so that you continue getting daily tips from our channel. 
webale nyo mukwano gwange okubera nafe nsanyu senyo mukwano gwange era ninze okubanga njogera mukona we okuwa tips enunji oba biti byosobola kubanga followinga obo yagala kubanga ofuna olubuto amangu amanya gachano ya fe Gerard Massa the health educator era webale nyo likinga video ya fe sharing ojitambuze mikwano ya fe jona jona abagalo kubanga bafuna embuto guno mwezi baberenga bafuna tips zino era sanyu senyo mukwano gwange greetings and have yourself a fantastic and healthy day see you in my next video bye bye What are the different types of ultrasound scans? How many types of ultrasound scans are available? How many types of the different ultrasound scans are available? In this video today, we are going to talk about the different types of ultrasound scans. Tugenda kuogira kubika ebyenja ulo, ebya scans over kativi so that ojija kuba osobolo kumanya Dr. Waba kusindi sokola scan, oja kumanya chikachi, echa ultrasound scan, chowetaga okola. We are going to discuss the different types of ultrasound scans in this video. And remember, you are most welcome to our channel, Gerard Massa, the health educator. And remember, you can subscribe so that you keep watching new videos we release every day about fertility, reproductive health, and ultrasound scan. We do create awareness about the different types of fertility. So, in this video, we are talking about the different types of ultrasound scan. Without further ado... <laughs> The first type of ultrasound scan is what we call the transabdominal ultrasound scan. The transabdominal ultrasound scan. By transabdominal, we mean that ultrasound scan which is done specifically to look at what could be happening in your abdominal organs. Let's take an example. You could be having lower abdominal pain or you could do, actually you could be having abdominal pain which is generalized. And then your doctor examines you and then sees that you actually need to do an ultrasound scan. Then your doctor is going to request for a transabdominal ultrasound scan. To Gambia and type a scan a soca, jetuita transabdominal ultrasound scan, era to Gambia and scan yeno, a vessel of Kuraga, organizo, ezea, oba, a vintubo, a yomunda, a vidimo abdomen, katugazenge chibumba, oba, a sigo, oba, a vienda vidibitia, chandibanga, maybe means opera, maybe zimba, oba, a buzu wanabona, a volimo butolo. So, with the transabdominal ultrasound scan, Images of your organs, including the liver, the spleen, the kidneys, the pancreas, and also your bowels or your intestines will be actually taken and then they will be reflected on the screen, whereby what will be happening is that your doctor will be able to interpret these images and then see where the problem could be and then make a conclusion or make a report for you so that your primary doctor where you started from will give you the best treatment. A case in example is you may go to hospital and then you are showing signs of uh, your face swelling and then your legs are swelling, they've actually increased in size and then you are not able to urinate 
your doctor will most likely request for a transabdominal ultrasound scan and on the request your doctor will put that close attention should be paid to your kidneys or your renal system. So when a transabdominal scan is being done, close attention will be paid or close attention will be taken when uh, ultrasound images of your kidneys are being visualized. If at all the ultrasound scan shows that your kidneys have increased in size and then they are also filled with fluid or they are appearing very large and then they are also very black in color. In scan language, we call this an echoic appearance. Then there are high chances that you could be having a condition or you could be having a problem known as hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis is when your kidneys are filled with free fluid. To Gambia and to Oboko, the scan, Nayate, Ebifana, Nebifuruma, Nebira Ganti, Kidinizo oba ensigozo zile yonge dokubanga zizi imba. Ateza bulaka nyo, atezi limo kwe gamba. Okubanti kwe gamba zile yonge dokuzi imba. Then, echechirua demuluzungu tupa tuchita hydronephrosis. Hydronephrosis chiba chitegeza nti ensigozo zijudemu amazi eranga wandivanga olimuluade wa ensigo. So, ultrasound scans are very important in identifying what could be happening to your body. If you have taken the various types of treatments and you are not getting better, then it's high time you do an ultrasound scan. We are talking about the different types of ultrasound scans and we have said that the first type of ultrasound scan is what we call a transabdominal ultrasound scan. Transabdominal ultrasound scan. We are going to go to our next type of ultrasound scan but before we proceed remember to subscribe, smash that red button so that you will be able to watch new videos we release every day and then you'll be able to learn about your body learn about fertility learn about reproductive health and also learn about ultrasound scan i welcome you to our channel and we are proceeding with our next type of ultrasound scan and this is known as uh, we've talked about the transabdominal ultrasound scan. So the next type of ultrasound scan is what we call the transvaginal ultrasound scan. The transvaginal ultrasound scan. To Gambia and Echika Echokubiri, Echa ultrasound scan or Waka TV, Dr. Waka again Doksaba, Kekanokebaita, transvaginal ultrasound scan. Transvaginal ultrasound scan specifically is a type of ultrasound scan where a special probe or a special instrument on the ultrasound scan machine is going to be inserted in your private parts or your vagina. What happens is that prior education and then consent should be taken from the patient or from the client before this procedure is done. Transvaginal ultrasound scans are normally done to assess how your private parts are and then also to get clear images of your uterus or your womb and your ovaries. Actually, it is the best recommended ultrasound scan, although even with transabdominal ultrasound scan using a convex, a convex probe that is uh, with, 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 with ranges from 2.5 up to 5 megahertz strength, uh, it's also really good. It can give images of your womb and your ovaries, but a transvaginal ultrasound scan can give much more better images of your womb and your ovaries. So a, trans, a vaginal, transvaginal ultrasound scan is a type of ultrasound scan where a special instrument or probe is inserted into your private parts and then images of your reproductive system, images of your uterus and your ovaries will be taken. To Gambia and Echa scan, 
transvaginal ultrasound scan tugambye nti mu transvaginal ultrasound scan akagundi kabaita ka probe kaba nga actually kabanga ka ntumusawo ka kwata bakateka wansi mu bitundu byo ebyechama ate ne kabanga kawa ebifananyi ebya nabana yo na majigo and then from there doctor wo abasobola kuvunula ebifananyi bino nakubulira oba nabana eliko buzibu oba elimu ebizimba oba terimo bizimba we've talked about the different types we are talking about the different types of ultrasound scans and we have said that the first is what we call the trans abdominal ultrasound scan i hope you're taking notes the next is what we call the trans vaginal ultrasound scan the last part of actually the next part of ultrasound scans is what we call the trans rectal ultrasound scan trans rectal ultrasound scan or the rectal ultrasound scan in the rectal ultrasound scan what happens is that still the probe there's a special probe for rectal ultrasound scans the probe or this instrument will be inserted into your rectum or your actually through your anus and then images of your womb will be taken rectal ultrasound scans are done in patients whereby the it is not possible to do the trans vaginal ultrasound scan and maybe it's even very hard to do the trans abdominal ultrasound scan for example if you are a woman and you have undergone a special procedure in theater you've had an operation known as a total hysterectomy a total hysterectomy total hysterectomy means removal of your womb removal of your uterus fully nothing remains behind so if your uterus has been removed by a special procedure we've said a hysterectomy and then your doctor wants to find out how you are healing and then maybe since it is really very painful through your private parts and it may not be possible to do the transvaginal uh, ultrasound scan because we presume it is really very painful and maybe your private parts are actually really not actually they are very tender then your doctor will most likely request for a transrectal or a rectal ultrasound scan it will give clear images of your womb i mean uh, sorry the womb is already removed i'm sorry about that so it will give clear images of the part where your womb was and then it will show how the healing process is taking place it will show how your, how the vaginal calf or the calf i'm um, actually it will show the vagina it will show how your private parts are it will show whether there are things which are developing for example pus formation or abscess formation it will show whether healing is taking place well or it's not taking place well so we have talked about the different types of ultrasound scans and we have said that the first type of ultrasound scan is what we call the trans abdominal ultrasound scan we've said that the next type of ultrasound scan is what we call the trans vaginal ultrasound scan and lastly we've said that there's also a trans rectal ultrasound scan remember to subscribe for new videos we release every day i welcome you to my channel jared massa the health educator and remember to ask me all your questions down below in the comments have yourself a fantastic and healthy day see you in my next video and may god bless us all bye bye